We're back. We're back, baby. What is up, watch fam? I am Christian, the curator of the Theo and Harris Vintage Watch Shop. My name is Michael, and this video is sponsored by Squarespace, and this Omega is looks like it's sponsored by you. So today we're talking about two watches. I haven't seen either of them yet. They're both new watches from Omega. I'm a big Omega fan. Um, I know that they're both Seamasters. One is about $7,000, and one is about $165,000. Yes, So I, you will notice I say 130 throughout the video. That's incorrect. And they're both from, they're both Bond they're watches. They're both Bond watches. Uh, for one, one way or the other, we're going to find out. And, you know, we, we have filmed this already. Christian goes up, euphoria, and then ends in the most disappointing. <laughs> this video say, takes a huge turn. This video takes a huge turn. The end, you say, what, this is a watch for, this is a toy for weirdos. <laughs> toy for weirdos. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into these watches. Yes. Um, and uh, let's take a look if uh, these these watches represent any value. <laughs> Omega. Well, let me run down. There is two watches. One, I feel like you are. Would... It's plural. There are two watches. No, no. If, if Christian is the most obnoxious piece of. Michael would fly so high he would soar without him. Shut up. Shut up. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> At night you're okay. screaming. Shut up. <laughs> Sally, what do you think about this? <laughs> Sally's like, he is really talented. So there are our, whore. there's two Omega watches. <laughs> yeah. And there are two Omega watches? There are two Omega watches. I was pre-med. Okay, so I know. You weren't pre-med. You were going to be a lawyer. <laughs> Same thing. There are two Omega watches. One of them you wouldn't care about. The other one I am claiming now, which we'll see if it's true. Yep. You would return it once you saw a level of quality that you were not happy with that I think you will agree with. Really? Yes. Unless it's intentional. I, gotta I don't tell think you. it is. I got to tell you. Actually, I don't know what you're talking about. It's $140,000. Well, that's under budget. <laughs> That's under budget. Okay, immediately I'm all. excited. Immediately I'm excited. That sounds like something about that is something that I like. <laughs> Wait, 100 and what? How many do you have? So, so uh, um, I will tell you that if you're talking about quality, I have a very hard time believing that I would return an Omega. I and know. you're talking about, you know, style, like meaning like, you know, some of the Omegas, like I just can't wear it. It's not my thing. That's That's different. But if you're talking about quality, I don't know. I will say, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because it could go in Frankly, way. I lied on my resume. <laughs> Frankly, when we first sat down, when Christian was debating on hiring me, he said, so do you know how like, a watch works? And I was like, for the most part, yeah. kind of. Like, I can't put one that together. That was the whole interview. And you're like, because I really Cause don't. I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm right. Well, no, you know, what I, what I didn't know was spring drive. At the time. Oh, yeah. I was like, what? so I could. Yeah. You use the interview as an opportunity to try and learn something. <laughs> I could, after a minute, like after a couple of minutes, I could get. So spring drive is o could only be possible by Grand Seiko because I know that it took expertise in both mechanical and quartz watch making. But what's right? weird is that I... But I can't actually explain what it and is. And they don't make cars. Yes. I'm like, no, well, the drive doesn't always correlate to cars. You're like, that's so weird to me. <laughs> if you're watching this and you can explain spring drive, you are in a very small minority. You are people. even... I now can explain spring drive. But we, We've gone to Grand Seiko events. All the Grand Seiko reps know everything, but even Brilliant. some of the nerdiest Grand Seiko fans are like, oh, I love spring drive. And I'm like, yeah, right. That's when the, uh, and they're like, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, made only possible by Grand Seiko because <laughs> yeah. it the, took an expertise. The finishing is actually so good magic. that it's hard to explain. Okay. So <laughs> Omega had their 60th anniversary for their Seamaster, which before we even get into the special edition, we'll go to the first one. It's pretty, pretty regular looking. Is that true? That's not true. It's not true. Oh, so 60th. Bond, sorry, Bond oh. 60th anniversary. Oh, I was going to say, Seamaster was 1948. Is my business a lie? So you're just wrong. Oh, that can't be right, Michael. So? So go on. Bond. Bond. So they had their 60th Bond anniversary, Sean Connery. Actually, no, he was not Omega. Uh, he, what? He was, he, was a, he, was, he was Rolex then. But, yes, but, but yes. they're still celebrating Bond. Yes, of course. But 
They released two Speedmasters. This is one of them. Speedmasters? That's a Speedmaster uh, Master. What the hell Say is going what on? again. Say <laughs> what? what? One more time. What? Say what again. Say what again. I dare you. I double dare you. Two Does Marcellus Wallace look like a b <laughs> what? what? Then why'd you fuck him like one, Brad? <laughs> fuck him like one. So, this is actually going to be fantastic. Too much nonsense. Get back to watchers. We actually you. decided to put the nonsense back in. Yeah. That's so fun. You. Uh, so they released two Seamasters. One, I think, is it's just a, a color change. That's not a big deal. But, real quick, what do you think of the Seamaster as a design? I like the watch. Yes. Um, I love the bracelet. This mesh bracelet. Mesh bracelet. As opposed to the hulking bracelet that used to be on As most a, Yes. I think when Omega updated, and this is why the Theory Hunter channel is good, because you can go from fooling around to very critical. And this is why, yeah. I think Omega updated, not, I know that Omega updated the Speedmaster bracelet, and I don't think that they have yet updated their Seamaster bracelet. I Agreed. think it's a little bit out of date. It's uh, from the era of very, very heavy... This needs to be yeah. a beast of a, of a bracelet. It's a little bit unrefined. Yes. Um, still a great bracelet, no question about that. Better than a lot of other companies, for yep. sure. Yep. Um, but for me, someone who enjoys that taper, that kind of, you know, that, that, that industrial elegance that was more popular in the 20th century, mm -hmm. I prefer the the mesh bracelet um yes. you know yes. on 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 that watch. I actually I love I the like. look of mesh bracelets in general. I wish this was curved to sit flush. Really? I'm glad it's not. Really? I like that it's flat. Wow. I mean, the curved is cool. The curved is cool. The reason I, like I that it's fine. The reason I wish it was curved is because I can always get a flat aftermarket mesh bracelet. True. But a curved one is the hard one to find. Yeah. Which remind yes. me to tell you, we should look into how much of a business there is in making curved mesh bracelets for popular watches. There, there's, there's a business in making bracelets for watches. It's just, I've got businesses and you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just... It's not enough to... Am I going to allocate more time to that? And could I could I have allocated that time somewhere else to make me more monies? Do you know what I mean? Let me just cross that off my list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great ideas Christian's gonna love. I'm like, uh. <laughs> so so uh, I don't think they've caught up yet with the bracelet. This yes. is the solution there. Um, you know, obviously this is the classic, you know, Seamaster, you know, the Bond Seamaster that I grew up loving with with uh, with uh, Pierce Brosnan. Um, uh, I don't know if I told you this. Um, I, so I obviously I grew up. Did you grow up watching Bond? Yeah. Okay, so we both grew up watching probably the same Bond movies. And playing Goldeneye on GameCube. And, and playing Goldeneye on GameCube, exactly right. That was Pierce Brosnan. Yes. And uh, actually, you know, my friend and I, my best friend at the time, uh, would watch these movies incessantly. And just a month ago, I saw Pierce Brosnan uh, out at uh, at Bemelman's Bar in the city. Wow. Yeah. And it was actually, yeah, I mean, yes, yes. It was, actually, it was actually the day that he died. My friend died. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's so f***ed up, right? Oh, that I is. Know. I can't even make a joke. And I, sat, so and I sat at the same table that Pierce Brosnan sat at. He got up. And, like I walked in. Just smell the kinda, seat covers. You know, no, it's in, you're, you're in the city, so no one's going to hoard yeah, the right. famous person. Of course. But I nodded. He nodded. I took his seat. Or Sally took his seat. And, Sally. Uh, and Sally I was like, get out. I immediately started crying. <laughs> I was like, what the f***? Wow, Bond, James Bond. You know, wow. my, like my James Bond, like yeah, our course, James Bond. Course, you yeah. know, my dad's James Bond is probably like Timothy Dalton or something. My dad's Olympic. You know, <laughs> but you know, your dad wouldn't yeah. even talk to Pierce Bronson. Yeah, he's like, that's not my Bond. That's fake Bond. This is the watch. I one. I love this. I wish there was some. I wish there was a slightly smaller watch, which I always say. But I love the lollipop seconds hand. So I do I. It's beautiful. Great design. Um, the only thing I don't like is the case bag. The case bag. Yeah, it's kitschy. And I will say. Have you seen the new what Grand Seiko did with Evolution 9 to solve? Remember the time we went to the event and everybody was like, oh, I'd love this if if the lion wasn't on the case back? Yes. Did you see what they did? No. It is now, it, hologram's not the right word, but if you tilt it to the side. Oh, nasty. It's there. Yeah. And it's, That's it's, amazing. It doesn't like glow. You could see it's etched in. You know how Omega does the little yep. Omega logo on yep. the crystal? That's great technology. I love that. Non-obtrusive yes. for from a regular view. Yep. Turn it, and you can choose to see this etch design. That's fucking, I mean, brilliant's a strong word, but that is really smart. It's, it's like, yes, that is exactly what I want. Yes. I would love both, yep. but I don't want a, anything over the C2 yep. case back. 7,200 bucks is a lot of money. This is not a cheap watch. I do think, though, with the level of quality and the, and the caliber that we're going to expect, I mean, this is a master chronometer. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, 7,200 bucks is... 
It's fair. I mean, it's it's right on. It's it's. I think that that is that is right kind of where they deserve to be. Right um, where I would say. I did like okay. I did like the world when the Seamasters were four thousand, you know, because yes. it was like, wow, that's dramatically less expensive than a sub and just as good. And now it's that's a little bit less expensive than a sub and just as good. Yeah, right. You know, right. But that's, and, and and Omega fun. deserves that. And it's, it's got a Bond logo on it. That's the only yes. part that I'm like, eh. Yes. The last thing I will say with this is something I never I haven't I can't develop an opinion on it because I like both. The bezel is aluminum. So it will fade, it will scratch, Very it will cool. age. I love that they do that on the Speedmaster. Wow. I, that is my favorite. That's why I love the Speedmaster, because I know no matter whatever new technology they're implementing, that bezel is going to age over time, wow, which is beautiful. Wow, I have no idea. Yeah. That's cool, very right? cool. Because other Seamasters are obviously ceramic now. Exactly. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Cool stuff, Omega. Good job. That's a, uh, Omega, you know what they're really good at is remembering their roots and showing them off. There is still a speed. Oh, Speedmaster still go to space, but there is still a Speedmaster you can get that is the original. Yes. With Hesselite crystal. Yep. There is still an aluminum bezel Seamaster that yep. you can get. Agreed. That's cool. That is Even cool. their chiming watches are like, we're gonna pay homage to our minute repeater and the Speedmaster in yep. different ways. Yep. That's very cool. I agree. Omega does a great job, uh, you know, recognizing their roots. I, I completely agree. And, and when I was when I was in Switzerland, you know, at the Omega facility, that was like abundantly clear. I mean, they yeah. they were surrounded by two things: cutting edge technology mm-hmm. and all of their history. Yes, their history literally lines the walls and the, and 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 you know is is positioned in the center of rooms. You know, the That's historical so cool. models. Yeah, That's what I've always said is if there was an Omega or a Rolex or other model that was like, hey, we used everything's you know the movement's built to spec. It's anti magnetic, has all this new technology, but the loom will patina over time. It'll turn custard. The bezel will fade. The dial, if it's white, will turn like you know brown or whatever color. Mm-hmm. But other than that, it's a regular watch. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, that's awesome. Because yeah. I think about it every time I'm in the sun. Be like, oh, yeah. this is awesome. Yeah, I agree. That's very cool. Speaking of that, before we get into the next watch, we are sponsored by Squarespace. But also, it's the holiday season and the Theo and Harris watch shop is raging. That's right. We just listed a ton of new stuff in the Theo and Harris watch shop. A beautiful white gold Audemars Piguet, um, time only. Very rare watch. They're wearing yellow. Uh, I mean, this is from an era before Audemars Piguet was the Royal Oak, right? Yes. This is from the you know, the heyday of ultra fine watch making at the brand now it's they're great it's just very very different much more sport oriented mm-hmm. um we listed some some beautiful date just we actually sold quite a few yesterday uh cartier tanks um there's there's some phenomenal stuff in the watch shop right now um i i, I particularly stocked and, and sourced all this stuff for the holidays yes. so that you guys could could you know pick it up and make the season there's you know. a gift at any level Oh yeah, the watch shop is. Uh, listen, we just we just listed you know new Rolex passport holders, uh, did, you know new stock you know vintage passport holders, yep. and uh, and Rolex golf towels as well that I was lucky to source from um, from abroad. I think from Jamaica, obviously. Wow. Uh, actually, yeah, they were they were gifts that that were given to authorized dealers by Rolex to then give out to their best clients. Wow. How cool is that? Wow. Uh, and they are for sale at the owner's watch shop. It's very, very cool. I have one on my bag. I gifted one to a uh, a um, uh, John's son, right? A little golfer friend of oh, mine. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And, big wrist John. Uh, big wrist John's son. And, um, and that's it. It's great stuff. The owner's watch shop is stocked full at, at all different price points. So go take a look. <laughs> Squarespace has been such an integral part of my company and my entrepreneurship journey from day one. Squarespace is really just the all-in-one place if you want to start a website on any platform that can be for shopping or blog or for anything. Squarespace has a template and makes it super easy to do just that. Not only is it easy to make a website, fine, you can make a website pretty easily as long as it's bad, but it is easy to make a very functional and beautiful website. In less time... Triangle does not exist, right? Right. right. What do they say? Like you either are doing well you spend at work. Spend a lot of money. Yeah, exactly. You spend a lot of money. Yeah. Good design. Yeah. Quick. It's yeah. Like all you, that. you can't. You can't have all three. Well, at Squarespace, you can have all three. Yes. Uh, and, and and that's why I love the company. Theo and Harris would not have been possible. My, my entrepreneurship journey would not have been possible had it not been for Squarespace. So thank you to Squarespace um, for being just a fantastic, uh, uh, you know, hub for web development. Um, to all of you out there that want to 
you know, build a website for your for your business um, or, or, or improve your existing website and really just take it to the next level. Head on over to Squarespace, take advantage of our offer. You can head over to squarespace.com slash Theo Harris to save 10% off your first order of a website or domain. And it's just, it's an investment of, of a very small amount of money and a very small amount of time and the return will be remarkable. I can just about guarantee it. It's just my personal experience. So uh, head on over. Next Omega, what Next, is this other one? This is the one I, I want to tell you about it first, then I'll show it to you. Okay. I do think you, I don't know, because it could be, there's two reasons why it could be like this. One of them is not good. The other one is you might not like the design, but at least there's an explanation. Yes. The next one is, and you could probably say it better, Canoopsy Gold? Oh, Can Canopsy Gold? Yeah, Canopus. Canopus Gold? Yeah. A, oh, Omega's White Gold Blend. <laughs> Canopus Gold! It was up, baby! <laughs> We're like... <laughs> They're calling, Omega's calling us. Can you sponsor this one? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so, Cannabis Gold, White Gold, um, it's their own proprietary blend, but you know, for all intents yeah. and purposes, it's White Gold. Around $136,000, very right. hard to get. And, and then, what model is it? It's a Seamaster? It's a Seamaster, okay. it's the same thing. Okay. But the dial is a, it looks like a carbon fiber silicone, it's just a silicone dial. But the bezel, is oh! out. So wow, before before we even, nuts. I want to get to the bezel last because that is the part that I think I know what you said. I'm not gonna like. Okay, okay, here we go. I, I know what you mean. So we'll go over this really quick. Uh, this is it's just oh, basically the same thing in wow. gold. Wow. <laughs> I, I turn my body. Oh, wow. wow, this is something we can all get excited about. <laughs> wow, I love watches. I love watches. That's cool. F so, you. wow. It's really just the same. I guess there's really not much to say. It's really this wow. the same watch in, in gold. But the dial is fascinating. Mat natural gray silicon. Natural, so that's a little bit more interesting. But really, the bezel is the discussion because. Well, I want to hear your thoughts. I don't want to give you any information besides that because it's, everything oh, is my opinion. Oh, God. Jeez. The competitor to this is obviously... The Rainbow Daytona. The Rainbow Daytona. Um, fuck, man. They did a good job. Wow. Okay, okay. They did a really good job. Okay, so so what Michael's talking about, the reason why Michael thought that I may not like this watch, and I completely understand because he's right. But it may be on purpose. It, right. And I think it definitely is. Okay, it has to be. It is, yeah. Okay. The, 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 the reason is that the gradation of color here is a little bit more abrupt, meaning the jumps between stones in color are larger than we find on the Rolex Rainbow Daytona. Which is, if you look at this, at this Omega, at the six, I feel like their transition from right to left, yeah. from orange to yellow, is really good, especially between six and seven. Yeah. But then, yeah. obviously... Yeah, so... so that that's obviously the criticism. I do you know at what point I'm criticizing it, which may be on purpose again. Oh, at, at a specific point. Yes. I thought you meant throughout. At a specific point. Oh, I mean, well, well, in all fairness, you got. I mean, the one thing I'll say is, you know, the the color of a stone is going to be very dependent on the light that, that it is given. Of course, of course. So, of course. so I mean, okay, you're looking at center here. There seem to be darker stones to the right of six than on the left. I mean, that seems to be the case. I I'm highly saying, doubt that's the case. Look at three and look at nine. This yellow to green. But it's it, but it's not. I don't think it's supposed to be smooth at all. And that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Because I no. can see you. I think it's like a GMT. Like, that's like, a, okay, know, that's my thought exactly. Yep, yep. That's the part that I thought would annoy you. But that's also the part where Omega and anyone, maybe even I, were like, they're probably splitting it in half. Yeah. Yep. They, they, they wanted it to be not. They, they, they were trying to go a little bit more of the you know, uh, GMT route, meaning two colors. Clearly, there's a, there's a, it's a softer meeting point because they, they there is gradation. Yep. Um, but, but no, they definitely wanted two colors. To split it. Um, wow. That's, so, oh, wow. This is, I mean, so I find gemology when it comes to watches, not, I mean, I don't, I don't particularly find gemology interesting. I don't, sure. I don't read about gemology, so I don't, I don't oh, I took geology in college. I mean, <laughs> and I, I did you get, did I did nice get three credits, you know, wow. so. <laughs> wow, that degree just got thrown to you, didn't it? <laughs> So, um, <laughs> you know, my major was only like 24 credits. That's insane. Um, You're like, but I did graduate in three years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did a full 120. I did a full yeah, 120. Okay. Uh, it was just all electives. <laughs> 
I'm really good at dodgeball. <laughs> You're like, you wouldn't believe how bad everybody else is at dodgeball. <laughs> so, um, so... Wow, I think it's phenomenal. Um, I think it's, I think the decision to not be perfectly gradated at those at that at that three and nine is or rainbow good, is it right? Uh, that, first of all, okay, okay. Rewind my thoughts. I have a lot of emotion here. Number one, the Rainbow Daytona um, existed long before it became popular. Yes, right. The Rainbow Daytona. I don't remember the year it was introduced, but we're talking about uh, um, you know two thousands. It's right? been a secret menu item for a while. Yes, yes. Um, and then in the last five years, maybe. Maybe early, maybe even less time than that, they became ungettable, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the watch, I believe, is uh, I think it's is, is it even two hundred thousand dollars? I don't even know if it's two hundred thousand. Who knows? You know, and, and and yet they're trading around five hundred thousand, right? Mm -hmm. They're just impossible watches to get. Um, I think that they are one of the most beautiful watches ever manufactured by the brand. I, I could go on about Rainbow Daytona's for an hour. I think. Because I, you know, I looked at Rainbow Daytona and I've always been like, oh, cool. But when you explain it and you say, look at the subtle gradation in stones, oh, yeah. then you appreciate it. Oh, yeah. I this, mean, this I wouldn't appreciate as much if I didn't look at the gradation. And I wouldn't compare it to Rolex and be like, wow, that really is just very soft. Yeah. I mean, you know, um, th and that's beautiful. But uh, but the I think the, 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 the goal here was different. And to me, I mean, I'm getting... And the Rainbow Daytona just gives me, oh, it's colorful. That's it, yeah. You know, if anything, sure. it's like, it's like, you know, well, actually, f funny fact about the Rainbow Daytona, um, with the Qatar, with the Qatar World Cup, mm -hmm. um, there were a couple of players that wanted to wear pride bands on their arms, and they, they were not allowed to do it. Um, so one of the players put on a Rolex Rainbow Daytona instead. Pretty interesting, you know, and, and, and take take the politics out of it. Sure. Uh, because, you know, you are in someone else's country. I, to, to, to take, take the politics out of it. But, like, wow, that's kind of cool, right? That's a workaround. But, but that really is, like, what the, the Rainbow Daytona reminds me of nothing that appears naturally in the world. Sure. It is just it is just a bunch of, it's a rainbow. Yeah, well, of I guess that is a, <laughs> I guess that is. I guess that's But the, the Rainbow the Daytona doesn't light. remind me of a rainbow. Of course. It, right? I mean, it right. just doesn't. To know? me, it, it is Rolex to the highest the uh, separation of intended of oh, its original purpose and what it is now. Yeah. That is yeah. the the signifying like Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, I mean I, I don't know why it doesn't remind me of it. That's so weird. I'm getting like kind of introspective. I mean it, well I, if anything it's always associated with like candy and it candy. Stuff like it reminds that. me of yeah. candy, definitely. This reminds me of just a naturally occurring like scene like in like Africa or something like you I know, guess I with, could see that with this crazy you know I don't know just these crazy natural vibrant sunrise colors this does feel it not being a rainbow gives it a specific tone like you could yes. you could say you could say something stupid or you could be like well like Africa jungle whatever and yeah. I'd be like, okay that makes sense it's not it's not rainbow yeah you know? yeah uh second I think no you're good Oh, your what paper. Oh, no, this is Joe's Ashley. Am I supposed to know who? Well, baby Ashley was well, baby I, Ashley. Meanwhile, we picked this Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. We picked for them, too? Oh, please. I, I don't know what you said doing anymore. <laughs> what about for me? <laughs> bon Adal. Bon Adal. Lock the doors when you leave. All right. And by the way, it's just so everybody knows, that was a small post-it note that just said the word Ashley on it. And it is Secret Santa. And it just held, held up in front of Christian. Because <laughs> there was a whole debate about it yesterday. Um, the fact that they didn't do Meteorite, which I'm sure they considered. Natural silicone. Yep. They, I'm sure they considered Meteorite. And I actually don't like Meteorite all that much, uh, unless it's in a white gold day date, in which I love it. Uh, right. But generally, I don't like Meteorite. I really don't. <laughs> Um, it reminds me of meteor shower. Uh, the most fabulous thing I've ever said, unless it's in a white gold day date, in which I love it. In which I love it. <laughs> uh, so I think that this, I think that was a good decision. They get muted. So the, the natural silicone seems to be more matte. Uh, it doesn't seem to compete with the natural stones as much. Uh, I think that the, the white gold throughout is brilliant. Um, I think that this will be gettable at 138,000. As long as they're not hyper, hyper limited, yeah. I think you will be able to get this watch. And I think there is a craving for this watch. I think that this is one of the coolest Seamasters I've ever seen. I love it. Period. And period. Baby. End. Period. I'd, I'd go, yeah, maybe period end. Wow. Wow, that's gorgeous. Fuck. Wow. If, again, if you can, you know, you, you, you're, you're, they're playing within the realm of what, you know, like what Rolex, the trend that Rolex started. 
But they're not competing directly. They're saying, you know what? We have a different take on this. Well, we could do it this way. Right. Sure. We have a different take on this. Yeah. So, you know, we're not... And there's purpose behind it. Obviously, maybe this doesn't fully line up with James Bond, but they're yeah. like, it's our special edition James Bond watch. This doesn't have James Bond on the back, does it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Let's see. That would suck. That would be bizarre. Whoa. Wow. Okay, two quick updates. One, Thank I was you. wrong. It's 165000 Two... The bond is on the case back of the that's one hundred seventy thousand dollar watch. That is bizarre. So, is there a reason that you wouldn't like it? That reason. Yep. That reason. That's fucking bizarre. That's weird. No way. That is very weird. No fucking way. Wow. What a sharp turn. Oh, that is such a weird wow. thing to do. You ruined it. You ruined wow. it for me. I really feel that way. I feel that way too. That is weird. Uh, Mike, our editor, it's probably like, cut it out. Fucking... Christian literally said, "It does." There's no way it does. There's no way it does. Why would it you? it does. Wow. Wow. Well, anyways, that's that. I'm like, I'll take my card back. Thank you very much. You take it right out of the machine. Whoa. Whoa. Who has that on the back? Yeah, that's weird. That's <laughs> odd. Who designed that? That's bizarre. Wow. Wow. Right. Disappointing. Well, the world will end not with a bang, but a whimper. Yeah, it's like, you know, Rolex isn't, that's a, it becomes a toy now. What is this, a collector's item for weirdos? <laughs> 